four, three, two, one. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx, its seven-year mission to boldly go to the asteroid venue and back. from the equator. SRB chamber pressure is almost quite out at this point. Party 180, injector pressures are good. 45 seconds of the flight. Control program is complete. Boosters throttle down. And Lock the one. Atlas rocket carrying OSIRIS-REx has gone supersonic. Standing by to pack, pass through max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q, vehicle moderates continue to look good. This is the point when the mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak and because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Look good. Current altitude is 14 miles. Downrange distance is 9 miles. Current velocity 2,488 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing down the middle of the range. In about 30, 30 seconds, the look good. single speed. solid rocket booster will be jettisoned at 2 minutes 19 seconds. Booster has throttled back down. It's now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next major event will be SRB jettison. Coming up momentarily. And, and you see the solid rocket booster jettison. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled closed loop Q alpha steering. RD-180 engine continues powering the Atlas, Centaur, and OSIRIS-REx into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Four minutes and two seconds into flight. ...has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude, 40 miles. Downrange distance, 75 miles. Current velocity, 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Ast Atlas booster engine cutoff. Already to burn well. Pump speeds and checked pressures within band. Vehicle body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 